don't know who needs to hear this, but you are not affirming to get something. A lot of you guys come to me for coaching and we go through the coaching process and then you're like, but my manifestation still is not here yet. I just feel like I'm so impatient. I hate waiting for something. That's the problem right there. Problem number one is you should not be waiting for anything. You should not be affirming to get something. It's not a case of like, oh, if I say these affirmations, then I'm going to get X, Y, Z. I'm going to get my desire. No, that's not how it works. You are affirming to keep yourself in a state of already having your desire. So these affirmations are merely new thoughts of your new story. You already have an unconscious program of the old story. That runs unconsciously by itself without your help at all in the background, like on autopilot. It's fine. What you have to familiarize yourself with and your mind with is your new story that you're telling yourself. So whatever your new story is, your affirmations are just thoughts that you think if you are in a state. You are affirming because you are familiarizing yourself with the new thoughts that you would have if you already had your desire. I intend that someone needed to hear this so that it doesn't feel like you're affir that affirming is a job, okay? Because it's not a job. It's just normal, natural thoughts that you would think if you already had what you wanted. And because the old story is an unconscious program already, you're already accustomed to that. So the purpose of affirming repetitively is to dissolve the old story and make the new story the unconscious program that will run in the background on autopilot and your manifesting magician.